Welcome to World Insight, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more breaking updates. Imagine sending a message in a bottle, not across an ocean, but across the vast dark sea of space. In 1977, humanity launched Voyager 2, our robotic ambassador to the outer solar system. Its mission, to visit Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, thanks to a rare planetary alignment. Voyager 2, was packed with cameras and sensors, powered by a nuclear battery to survive the cold, distant reaches of space. It also carried the golden record, a gold-plated disc with greetings, music, and sounds of Earth. Before Voyager, the outer planets were just blurry dots in our telescopes. Voyager 2 was built to answer our biggest questions about these distant worlds. Its journey was long and perilous, but the rewards were immense, a new understanding of our cosmic neighborhood. Voyager 2's mission was a leap into the unknown, driven by hope and curiosity, and it changed our view of the solar system forever. Voyager 2's adventure began at Jupiter in 1979, sending back breathtaking images of the Great Red Spot and its fascinating moons. It discovered volcanoes erupting on Io, proving moons could be geologically alive. Europa hinted at a hidden ocean beneath its icy shell, fueling our search for life. Using Jupiter's gravity, Voyager 2 slingshotted to Saturn, revealing thousands of ringlets in its rings. It studied Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere and Saturn's family of icy moons. In 1986, Voyager 2 became the first and only spacecraft to visit Uranus, discovering its tilted axis and new moons. The final stop was Neptune, where Voyager 2 found a dynamic atmosphere and the fastest winds in the solar system. At Triton, Voyager 2 found unexpected activity, upending our ideas about where life might exist. Each encounter transformed distant planets from points of light into fascinating worlds, and Voyager 2's greatest discovery was yet to come. When Voyager 2 reached Triton, Neptune's largest moon, scientists expected a frozen, lifeless world. Instead, they saw a young, smooth surface, evidence of something reshaping it. Then came the shock. Voyager 2 captured plumes erupting from Triton's surface, cryovolcanoes spewing nitrogen gas and icy particles. How could a world so cold and distant be active? The answer remains a mystery, one theory. Sunlight heats dark material beneath nitrogen ice, building pressure until it erupts. Another child, Triton's capture by Neptune generated internal heat. Triton taught us that even in the coldest, most remote places, worlds can be dynamic. It expanded our definition of what it means to be alive geologically. This single flyby transformed Triton into one of the most intriguing objects in the solar system. Voyager 2's glimpse of Triton left us with more questions than answers. It became a prime target for future exploration. After Neptune, Voyager 2's planetary mission ended, but its journey continued, out of the solar system and into interstellar space. Its new mission, explore the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends and interstellar space begins. The heliosphere is a giant bubble created by the solar wind. The heliopause is its edge, where solar wind meets the interstellar medium. For decades, Voyager 2 traveled through the turbulent heliosheath, scientists watching for signs, it had crossed over. They looked for a drop in solar wind particles and a surge in cosmic rays, signals of entry into the galaxy proper. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed first, but Voyager 2's path would provide new data. On November 5, 2018, more than 18 billion kilometers from Earth, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause. Its instruments recorded a steep decline in solar particles and a surge in galactic cosmic rays. Voyager 2 had entered interstellar space, a monumental achievement. For the first time, we had two active probes outside the solar system, sending back direct measurements from the space between stars. Voyager 2's data, especially from its plasma science instrument, gave us a new window into the interstellar medium. Humanity had dipped its toe into a new cosmic ocean. As Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, it revealed a boundary far more complex than anyone imagined. The probe found plasma at the edge of the solar system was incredibly hot, up to 50,000 degrees Celsius, much hotter than predicted. This wall of fire is a turbulent layered region, where the interstellar medium piles up against our heliosphere. It's a cosmic traffic jam, not a simple line. Voyager 2's data forced scientists to rethink how stars interact with their galactic surroundings. Another surprise. 
the magnetic field just outside the heliopause was almost parallel to the sun's, not wildly different as expected. This hints at a more direct connection between our solar system's magnetic environment and the galaxies. These findings have profound implications for understanding how the heliosphere shields us from cosmic radiation. The wall of fire and aligned magnetic fields are key to understanding our place in the universe. The edge of our solar system is not a quiet frontier, but a dynamic energetic barrier. Voyager 2's discoveries are helping us map this cosmic border for the first time. Each new finding challenges our assumptions and deepens the mystery. The journey into interstellar space had only just begun. Voyager 2's mission rewrote our understanding of the solar system. Before Voyager, the outer planets and their moons were thought to be simple frozen worlds. Voyager shattered that view, discovering volcanoes on Io, geysers on Triton, and evidence of subsurface oceans on Europa. Suddenly, the search for life expanded beyond planets to include icy moons far from the sun. This idea has guided planetary science ever since, inspiring missions like Galileo and Europa Clipper. Voyager 2 also revealed the bizarre magnetic field of Uranus, Neptune's fierce winds, and the intricate rings of Saturn and Jupiter. Each discovery added depth to our cosmic family portrait, turning distant dots into vibrant worlds. Voyager's greatest legacy may be how it changed our perspective on Earth. In 1990, Voyager 1's pale blue dot photo showed our planet as a tiny pixel in the vastness of space, a humbling reminder of our fragility and unity. Voyager's discoveries taught us about other worlds, but also about our own. They remind us how rare and precious our home is. The mission's impact will echo for generations. Voyager 2 didn't just explore space, it changed how we see ourselves. Today, December 16, 2025, Voyager 2 continues its lonely journey through interstellar space over 20 billion kilometers from Earth. Its power is fading, and most instruments are now silent, but it still sends back precious data from the space between stars. The mission's resilience is a testament to human ingenuity. Engineers have even revived its twin, Voyager 1, after a major glitch. As long as Voyager 2 has power, we'll be listening for its faint signal. Its discoveries matter because they expand the boundaries of human knowledge and challenge us with new mysteries. The geysers of Triton and the wall of fire at the heliopause are clues to the universe's secrets. This quest for knowledge is at the heart of what makes us human. Voyager 2's legacy will endure in textbooks, future, missions, and the minds of those inspired by its journey. As it sails on, it carries the golden record, a message of hope from a curious species. Voyager 2 is more than a machine. It's a piece of humanity, forever exploring the cosmic ocean. Its journey reminds us that our reach and our curiosity are limitless.